hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so today we are going to learn how we can draw different perspective of leaves so i'm going to show you with very simple tricks i'm using simple pencil simple ball pen and eraser and i'm using 300 gsm watercolor sheet but you can use any normal paper as well because today we are only going to draw not going to beautify my leaves today so you can beautify your leaves later so let's start with today's painting or today's drawing so whenever we create a bunch of leaf or flower with bunch of leaves we create leaves uh, something like this like with simple perspective in the different different direction like towards left towards right towards down side something like this you can keep the edges smooth you can keep the edges serrated so those things we already know and we are keep doing these kind of things in our drawing right but today i'm going to show you how we can draw a different perspective of leaves so that you can utilize those perspective in your painting so let's start with the first one so for the first one what we need to do is we need to create a line or a structure like this like half opposite you and then create half leaf so left line and right line and middle line i'm going to use these naming conventions so that you can understand it easily same with the upper section as well so we have created half of leaf on both side now we have to join these two line this and this line so draw, draw a line to join these two but I have, I have not created this straight line as you can see a little curve in the line and then join the left line to the upper section now i'm going to show you two different perspective with the same process so repeat the same process again left half of leaf both the side and then join the left uh, sorry right line from this line with little curve in it and join this line with the upper section so this structure is still now it's same now it's time for perspective so if you join the upper line with the cross you will get different perspective and if you join to the left line you will get different perspective sorry to the right line so for the first one i am joining the upper line with the left line and in this second perspective i am joining upper line to the cross section so as you can see we can see two different perspective one is like tilted towards the left side and another one is little twisted so you can easily see the uh, different perspective you can keep the smooth serrated up to you and then add lines like this in between based on your perspective do not draw opposite line same with the first one as well now the upper section as you can see the middle line is little awkward so what you can do you can delete or you can erase uh, the middle section middle line and join to the end so that you can get the proper perspective Now I'm going to trace this with the ball pen so that it's clearly visible to you and I'm going to erase all the unnecessary pencil mark and I'm going to repeat this for all the leaves that we have for today's drawing.
now let's move to the third one so for the third one we have to create a small leaf tilted towards the left side like this and then create a big leaf and join the left line towards the right line of the lower leaf as you can see we did it easily and then create middle line for both section so this is like small portion of leaf is tilted towards the left side very simple perspective now let's move to the fifth sorry fourth one so for the fourth one we have to create a line like this a small section towards the downside and a big curve now let's divide this into three different sections so this section is smaller the lower section is smaller and the upper section and the middle section is little bigger now create a leaf kind of structure in the middle section do not join the left line but join the right line to the middle section so i have not joined the left line because i need a little gap between left and right line while joining to the center and create a small leaf to the lower section now extending the right line of the middle section create one more leaf kind of structure so as you can see the right line of upper section is not joined to the end it is little far from the end and i have kept a gap also so these things are important as you can see i have not joined to the center i have joined here so these things are important please make sure you are doing all these things correctly now let's create one more time so that we can get different perspective i will show you later how we can get different perspective with the same process so create leaf like this so i am already used to with all these things because i have practiced this a lot so you also need little practice and then you can get all this perspective easily but make sure you are following small small things so that you can see the perspective clearly now add the middle lines for both the leaves as of now the perspective is same for both the leaves but if you erase the lower portion you will get different perspective which i will show you later now let's move to the sixth one so for the sixth one it's quite simple uh, but we just need to follow little little things so create a middle line and then create a leaf kind of shape so the left line and the middle section should be in the same uh, level and then join all the three lines and create one more leaf kind of structure like this and then create a middle section for the middle line for the upper section so i'm creating middle line extending my left line and and creating the middle line of the upper section now let me show you this perspective once again so what we have to do is we have to create a line then create half leaf the left line and the middle line should be in the same length and then create right line and join all these three lines and create one more leaf kind of structure then extend the leftmost line to create the middle line of the upper section quite simple you just need a little practice to draw all these leaves now 
what we can do is as you can see we have the same perspective for these two but if you delete sorry if you erase the lower uh, portion the smaller leaf just erase that and see you can get different perspective so this is like more twisted this is less twisted and you will get two different perspective easily so likewise you can create n number of perspective by doing little variation in your drawing now let's move to the last one so create a curve like this create half leaf and then let's create one more section the lower section so the middle line of the upper leaf is actually the right line of the lower as you can see I have not created anything in this and I have created additional middle line so the middle line of the upper section is actually the right line of the lower section and then join the right line of the upper section to the center line and extend the right line of the upper section a little bit and then create the middle section it's quite simple you just need to focus on the middle line that's it now either you can keep the edges smooth or you can keep serrated like this or you can keep less serrated like very less serrated like in between like this so these things you can additionally do in your leaves which I have not done I have kept everything smooth to make it easy for me but you can do all these things to beautify your leaf now I'm going to trace all my leaves with the help of ball pen and I'm going to erase all the unwanted pencil mark I know this might be a little complicated but if you do little practice believe me these are very simple and you can draw all these things easily I'm hoping this video is helpful for you guys to let me know if you guys have any feedback for me and thank you so much for watching see you guys in the next video